Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I have a weekend haul from Michaels and I had uh, my Adornit packet came in and then I ordered something from eBay. Okay, so we'll start with Adornit. Um, I'm in the stamp club of the month and this month they sent us um, cherries, very chocolate cherry brownies uh, stamp set recipe and this is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying a different angle on my phone and hopefully this works. Okay, so that would be the recipe uh, of the month. And then this is the add-on. And the add-on is really cute too. It has like the little basket of cherries, which is really cute. Um, it has the big cherries with the print inside. There's a little cupcake down here and it says have a cherry on top kind of day which i think that is really really cute um so yeah so those were my uh adorn it stamps that came in for the month they do have some add-ons that you can purchase over there at adorn it i don't think i'll be buying the um add-ons um you know if they anyway i won't <laughs> i won't go into that anyway i went to um oh i was on ebay and uh I seen this at a good deal and I've had one of these a long, long, long time ago. Um, and I decided, you know what, I'm, I want to try to uh, do this kind of a card again. So I bought this and it was for um, Gemini. Uh, yeah, it's it made by Gemini, but it came as, as a set on eBay. And I can't remember what I paid for it, but I just know it was a good deal. So I got the box die. And this is so you can create a little box for your box, your box card. And then you can lay these flat and they will go in an envelope. And then they had the add-on, which was the flowers. So, um, yeah, so I got that from eBay and that just came in. I'm waiting on a couple wood stamps I ordered from eBay. They're not, they're not here yet. Um, over the weekend, uh, me and my husband were out and about and I said, you know, he's like, you want to stop at Michael's, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I stopped at Michael's, um, to see what they had for Valentine and Easter. They didn't have much, um, but the Valentine was on sale for 50% off. Then there was a 30% off anything, the regular price. So I got all of this stuff, um, really cheap, um, at a good, good price from Michael's. So uh, the 30%, what I used for that is I bought myself some more ATG tape. And whenever there's a coupon, I like to buy this. Um, I do order from Amazon sometimes. I buy like 12 rolls. I think it comes out to be like a, a dollar a roll or something like that. Now, this is $7. I think it's $7 before the... Um, uh, before the discount. Yes, it's six ninety nine, and when, I think it was they put the thirty percent on that, and I think I got this for four eighty nine, which is still expensive if you think about it. Um, you're getting two rolls for four eighty nine, so it's almost a little more than two dollars a piece. About two forty, what was it? About two forty five a piece. Um, and if you order on Amazon, you can get the knockoff brand, and it works just fine. I use it all the time. Um, and you can get 12 rolls. I think it was for uh, $18 or something like that. I don't remember. Um, but in any case, I had a coupon, so I ended up getting two rolls, this right here. And they, they have two different kinds. They have this one that was just $6.99. Then they have one for putting on the back of pictures if you're a scrapbooker. And that um, that one is $10.99, I think, because it's like asset-free. Uh, but I make I use them on my card, so I just buy this one. Okay, so I got that. Um, I got some uh, shaker bits for cards. I was looking for more of a Easter type one. The only thing I could find that was close to being Easter was this. And um, these run regularly. Um, let's see, they, they run about $3.39. Yeah, three thirty nine, and then the smaller ones I believe run about three forty nine. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's three forty nine. Um, but anyway, I got this one here, which I thought was really, really pretty. And that could go for Easter Shaker. And then this was a Valentine's Day one. So this was 50% off. It has little tiny hearts in red, gold, and pink. And then these were really pretty. So I grabbed these. These are purple and blue uh, stars. And this one is purple, snow, purple, white, and silver snowflakes okay so I got those shakers and then this was also Valentine so this was 50% off and it was $4.99 50% this is all uh, red hearts little red hearts I don't know if you guys how you seeing that but yeah it looks pretty it's, it's very pretty and this one is going to be your pink I don't think they're hearts I just think it's circles yeah, this is like a, a very pink circles uh, shaker stuff. So I got those. Um, I figured I would pick up the light pink glue. Um, I have the red, the gold, and the blue from Christmas. And then they had this for Valentine's, which is a light pink. It's really pretty. So I grabbed that. And that was um, regular price, but I had 30% off of that. And then, um, let's see. I got some of these um stickers now the valentine again 50 percent off of 4.99 so i got two like this with the balloons i got one of the felt hearts i think because they only had one left and then this was 3.99 regular with th with 50 percent off and these were the hearts the puffy hearts with the uh sweetheart words and then the Creology Valentine was also 50% off. So I picked up two packs of this. They had two different, different kinds, but I like this one better. So I ended up getting two of this pack instead of buying one of each. And um, it comes with uh, this glitter up here. And then these heart shaker bits. Then there's some heart um, gems. And then these are clay pieces. They're hearts and lips. And then you have this sequence, which is silver, red, and pink. So that's it, you guys. That's all I got at Michael's. Not much. Just like I said, we were out and about. And I just figured, you know, he was like, you want to stop? I said, all right, we'll go in. Just take a look real quick. Um, so that's all I got. I do want to say that I will be doing my paper de-stash today. Um, I'm going to put the boxes up pretty soon. I have it kind of organized and separated. So I'll be back with another video for that. And I wanted to let you guys know that if um, I know I didn't see many participants for the gingerbread of February. I don't know if it's because it's the first week and not a lot of people know about it. So I just want to put it out there that um, for this month, I'm hosting a collaboration and it's called hashtag gingerbread of February. And if you can make any project you want, it doesn't have to be paper products. It could be sewing, it could be painting, it could be, uh, you know, whatever it is that has a gingerbread on it. If you would like to join, just put the hashtag gingerbread of February. Um, this way I can come over and look at your project. If you don't do videos, you can post pictures over on Instagram with that same hashtag or Pinterest or Facebook. Okay, so yeah, all you have to do is use the hashtag if you make something with a gingerbread um, and then you don't have to participate every week. Um, you just it's it's for fun. So um, and there really aren't any rules except for just uh, put the hashtag on there so I can come over and find your project. If I have it commented on your project and you would like me to see it. Send me an email. My email is always listed down below in the description box and say, hey, I made a project. Um, you didn't comment, so I was just letting you know that I made a project. Then I'll come over and see your project, okay? Um, but hopefully I can just put in hashtag uh, gingerbread of February and it will come up and I'll be able to see everybody's uh, projects. So, all right, you guys, I hope you have a nice day. I hope your weekend was great and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.